Hey everyone, it's Kat, back with some more spontaneous fun. Today, I will be showing you my recreations of the queens from Six the Musical. If you don't know what Six the Musical is, don't worry because I'm going to tell you. And just as a disclaimer, spoilers ahead if you haven't seen it. But in summary, it is a phenomenal musical about the six wives of Henry VIII. And at the start of the musical, they're kind of competing. Uh, it's basically a rock concert where every queen has their own song, their own solo. And uh, they're basically competing and arguing over who had it worse with their husband, lovely Henry VIII. Famously nice guy husband. Um, <laughs> uh, anyways, but at the end of the musical, after listening to everyone's stories and what they, what every one of them went through, they decide to come together and uh, be a group and uh, be awesome. So I am very much looking forward to showing you my recreations. Another disclaimer, I tried downloading custom content of the costumes from the, from the show, um, but I, I either downloaded it wrong or I was missing something like a mesh or something and it, it, it wasn't working. So the only one that worked was Catherine of Aragon. And um, I was like, I can't just have her in a costume. So I decided to just go with what The Sims 4 has. Uh, yeah, just had to work with that. Oh, also stay tuned until the end and you will know who my favorite queen is and also who I think I would get along best with in real life. So meow, without further ado, let's begin. To begin, we have Henry VIII's first wife. Catherine of Aragon. A little bit of backstory about her. She was married to Henry for 24 years. Long time. And after not being able to provide him a, live, a male heir that lived past infancy, because she gave him a son, he that son, who was called Henry, he just didn't live past infancy. She did provide him a healthy child named Mary. And uh, she would, later along down the road, she would become Mary the First. But anyways, this is not about her. <laughs> uh, but after not being able to provide him any more male heirs, uh, Henry uh, divorced her and annulled their marriage. So not only did he say, I'm divorcing you, but basically the 24 years that we just went through together, bye. <clears throat> Done. Out the window, you must go. After Henry divorced her, she basically was like, no, I'm not going to recognize you and your new little fling over there as the royal family. No, she, I am, I am the queen. You listen to me. Sorry. Um, she did. She, oh yeah. Did I mention that she wasn't allowed to see her daughter? Yeah. He forbade her from seeing their daughter. Yeah. Anyways, Mary wasn't even allowed to go to Catherine's funeral. Anyways, sorry, I rest my case. So in the show, she's portrayed a lot like she is in real life, or she was in real life. She was a bright, educated, confident woman with an ironclad sense of duty. So now I will present to you my recreation and also show you what she looked like in the show. So this is what she looked like in the show, and this is my recreation of her. Um, anyways, yeah, we could see the similarness, the similarities, er, the similarities. Um, I made all of them Renaissance Sims, uh, but Catherine of Aragon is loyal, family-oriented, and self-assured. My goodness, she is gorgeous. And she may or may not be my favorite out of all the queens. Anyways, moving on to the next wife of Henry VIII. She's probably the most famous, and she is, of course, Anne Boleyn. I'm pretty sure most of us know how this woman died. Um, but basically, when she couldn't give Henry a male heir, she was only able to produce one living child, a healthy baby girl named Elizabeth I. I have a video on actually recreating her in The Sims 4. I'll link that down below if you want to watch that. Uh, she, once she couldn't produce any more living heirs, she was very, um, gossipy. And, uh, it was said that she constantly was undermining the king's dignity. He, um, she just did not watch her mouth. And that pretty much was her downfall. And she was found guilty of outrageous and somewhat untrue charges. 
historians to this day still debate whether or not, you know, if she would have watched her mouth, none of this would have ever happened. <laughs> Anyways, um, after being charged, she was uh, beheaded at the Tower of London by sword. In the show, she is definitely a comedy relief. Um, and some of her one-liners, amazing. I, there's one point in the show where historically after her death, it was thought that she had a sixth finger because everybody started talking bad stuff about her. Uh, basically like, like, oh yeah, she did this and she did that and blah, 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 blah. And, <laughs> and so one of the, one of the, they're all, ta- all the queens are talking and, um, and at one point one of them says, so why are we all so famous? Why is everyone so fascinated by us? And, and she chimes up with, my sixth finger. <laughs> she does it better than I do, but you get it. Anyways, it was so funny. And I kid you not, myself and probably three or four other people laughed. So you could tell who the um, fans of history in the audience were. Sorry, my eyes are just allergic to air, I think. Anyways, anyways, I'm just so excited. That is true. I am excited to make this video. Okay, so... um. She's hilarious. Love her. Uh, getting back to kind of the historicalness and also like what she's like in the show, what her character kind of delves into. She She's more than just the com- comedic relief. She's also her own character. And she is uh, witty, confident, uh, assertive, just doesn't really care what she says. And, t- and she doesn't care who hears it, basically. And uh, she definitely matches Henry with that with a fiery temper that she never learned how to control I think they both really probably bonded over that or maybe they were at odds I don't know but anyways um (laughs) so with those traits and whatnot now I will get into what she looked like I will present to you what she looked like in the show and also my recreation of her this is what she looks like in the show and then this is her in the sims 4 She's so pretty! In the show, you can see she has those, like, two buns and then her hair down, but we don't have a hairstyle like that in The Sims 4, so I just gave her the two buns. I think she looks so cute. Um, And then I made her romantic, a music lover, because she really liked dancing and singing also. Um, She was, in fact, a dancing queen. Um, (laughs) And then I made her an insider, because she's always gossiping. And I'm just like, Anne. Sweetie, if you would have just kept your mouth shut, we wouldn't be in this position. (laughs) Moving on to Henry's third wife, third and certainly some would say the best, at least my boyfriend thinks so. Um, (laughs) He actually, historically, his favorite queen is Catherine of Aragon. Amazing. Um, But in the show... Uh, he really likes Jane Seymour because he loves her song. And I can't blame him. Her song is beautiful. So anyway, the third life of Henry VIII is Jane Seymour. She is known as the one who left him rather than him leaving her. Because shortly after giving birth to the son and heir that Henry finally got and so longed for, um, she passed away of childbirth complications just days later. In the show, her character sings a beautiful ballad to her, to Henry and her son, um, as a kind of final farewell to both of them. Historically, she was silent, uh, subservient, and sweet-tempered, but she did have a strong vein of moral courage that Henry certainly adored. But she, she knew when to keep her mouth shut. Jane knew when to keep her mouth shut. I think Anne could learn something from Jane. Anyways, so now I will reveal to you my recre- what she looks like in the show and also my recreation of her. Also, I wanted to preface... I should have said this before, but all of these, the Sims that you are seeing are, I modeled them after the original cast of Six the Musical. Cool. All right. Um, (laughs) This is Jane Seymour in the show, and then this is Jane Seymour in The Sims 4. Jane Seymour in The Sims 4. It rhymes. (laughs) Anyways, um, I made her ambitious, uh, family-oriented, and romantic. I think she looks so pretty, and she turned out so well. Um, Yay. Okay, after Jane's passing, he then 
Henry went to choose his next wife. And her name was Anne of Cleves. Anne of Cleves was, was a German princess. And she, on most accounts, she was very pretty. I mean, they, she wasn't immensely, immensely beautiful. But she was, uh, she 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 looked nice uh, we're get it we're gonna get into why i'm henry basically had this portrait of her painted by hans holbein he sent his ambassadors and his portrait painter and he was like go get her paint her picture bring it back and i'll approve it he gets the portrait right and he's like oh my god she's so beautiful and so she go he goes to he's like i can't wait for new year's i have to see her right now and so he dresses in a disguise which that w that's just a dumb idea to begin with. I mean, she obviously has probably seen pic portraits of the king and definitely has one of him for herself now, but, like, seeing him in person and seeing a picture, it's just, like, how did you expect this not to go wrong, Henry? Anyways, so he goes there he, in disguise, hoping that you know, she'll recognize him. Apparently when he sees her face, he's not very too much impressed, but he's hoping that she'll recognize him because, you know, it's all about Henry. But it's not all about Henry. It's all about the queens. And so Anne doesn't recognize him. She has no idea that it's him. And to no fault of her own, she is basically shunned, essentially, by Henry. He's like, oh, she didn't recognize me? Oh, how dare? He was basically being a Karen. And he set himself up for failure. Anyways, uh, but Anne of Cleves, like I said, she was a German princess. Uh, she's very pretty, all uh, most accounts and everything. She was divorced. She never consummated, so she never woohooed her husband, Henry VIII. And eventually her marriage to him was annulled because he just, because Henry was just too, he was too much of an entitled king. Just basically was like, no, I'm offended. I don't want you anymore. <laughs> Anyways, however, um, she was granted the honorary title of the king's sister by Henry, and she was given luxurious palaces, several luxurious palaces, um, after the divorce and annulment. Um, so there's an upside, you know? Uh, it, she, you know, I think Anne's life turned out really, really well for her. Um, in the show, Anne actually... Her name is Anna to distinguish her, just to distinguish the two Anns. Because Anne of Cleves and Anne Boleyn, I guess they made it to a more modern audience because it's just, I guess, to a modern audience, it's easier for them to comprehend, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, Anna in the show is a confident, slightly vivacious woman who is just, she has her own palace. She has all of these, all of the accoutrements that come with it, she is, she is the queen of the castle. Get down, you dirty rascal. Okay, so, <laughs> and I gotta say, her song, when I saw it live, she had so much fun with it. I was so happy for her. Um, there's a point in the song where, because all of the queens stay on the stage for the entire performance. There's no, inter there's not even an, 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 an intermission for this show. And so all of the, and they sing backup. The queens sing backup for each one. And so at one point they surround her and they take off her like outer costume and it reveals a red rhinestone studded bodysuit. And it's beautiful. And it's, oh my God, so amazing. <laughs> it's so good. And the crowd went wild. We were just like, woo! girl power you're like beautiful and amazing so gorgeous and um now we shall look at my recreation this is her character in the show and then this is her character in the sims 4 she's beautiful oh she's so gorgeous i love her so i made um her self-assured, loves the outdoors because she loves to go hunting. And um, she's a foodie. Girl loves to eat. Love her to pieces. She loves to eat. She loves to drink. She loves to do, like, sporty things back in the Renaissance time, which was, you know, go hunting and horseback riding, stuff like that. I love her. She's amazing. Yes. Queen. Okay. <laughs> 
So the fifth wife of Henry VIII was a young girl by the name of Catherine Howard, a charming, flirtatious girl that unfortunately had not the best reputation in the past with men. Um, she was very young when a lot of that stuff happened to her, and I was so young that it didn't really resonate with her at the time. She had no intention of, none of, I don't think any of these women had any intention of marrying Henry, but again, unfortunately, her flirtatious woohooing past with men would kept, uh, would come, would unknowingly to her come back to haunt her. Like her first cousin Anne Boleyn, yes, they were first cousins. In the end, just like Anne, she lost her head. In the show, this was one of the this was one of the songs that I was most curious about seeing live because in the show she has the challenging role of singing an upbeat song that ends in tragedy. On one hand, you want to be upbeat, but on the other hand, you have to act. I mean, this song calls for a lot of acting because she, she goes from the very beginning to the point basically where she's executed. Um, at least in my mind, that's how it goes. Um, that's how she's portraying the song in acting. But when I saw it live, the actress did a wonderful job. It actually brought me to, it almost brought me to tears. Um, although I was in tears because I was so happy for most of the performance. I was just, I couldn't hold back. I was so happy. Um, also, her color, if you don't know, I've been changing the colors of my lights to match the queen because each queen has their own color. Uh, Catherine of Aragon is yellow or gold uh Anne Boleyn is green Jane Seymour is white or as close to white as I could get um with my lighting and then Anne of Cleves is red and then Catherine Howard is pink but I didn't I don't have pink so we went with purple because it's also kind of her color is purple like a pinky purple it's like a fuchsia anyways I didn't have pink so we're going purple moving on what was I saying before I can't remember her performance was so good that I I was just like basically what I had in my brain, she did it. Like that was what I envisioned. Uh, so yeah, uh, great job. <laughs> and um, uh, once again, she was very young uh, when she married Henry. And I think she was only like 20 years old when she died. So yeah. Now I will show you what she looks like in the show and my recreation of her from the show in The Sims. This is what Katherine oh. Howard looks like in the show. And then this is Katherine Howard in The Sims. I tried my best. She's beautiful and amazing. I'm just now realizing I gave a lot of the queens the same traits, but it's fine, it's, it's fine. So I gave Katherine the romantic trait, uh, the music lover trait, cause she, she did, she was like her cousin, like her cousin Anne, she, liked to dance and sing a lot um, in real life. And then I gave her the self-assured trait. So Henry's sixth and final wife was Catherine Parr. She is described as vivacious, attractive, and scholarly. So she was very um, set in her ways and she was very educated. She um, actually taken with another man at the same, at the time of Henry's proposal of marriage to her and was torn about what to do. As she says in the song uh, that she sings, if Henry says it's you, then it's you. Uh, you can't really say no to the king. Um, and if you did say no to the king in those days, you were told to go to a nunnery because if you rejected the king, then obviously you couldn't marry any man. That's just how it was back then, which is ridiculous. But. Uh, but she really didn't have a choice. She, Henry was like, you, th that one. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but she was a strong queen, wife, and stepmother, bringing unity to the family and eventually convincing the king to re-legitimize his two daughters in the line of succession uh, in case the worst should happen to the heir, which was Edward. Um... She was also the first woman to publish an original work under her own name in English in England, which is really cool. In the show, she is she is portrayed as mature, caring, and a bit awkward, uh, which is uh, interesting to me. Um, uh, when she makes a joke, no one really laughs, and I, I didn't really 
notice this until I was doing research for this video about the show. And I was like, oh, yeah. So that's why she portrayed Catherine Parr the way she did. Because she was supposed to. Uh, she's portrayed as mature, caring, and a bit awkward. And when she makes a joke, no one really laughs. And she's very uncomfortable in the spotlight. Um, however, when it comes time for her to tell her story, she absolutely crushes it. And so now I will present to you what she looked what she looks like in the show and my recreation of her in The Sims 4. So this is Catherine Parr from the show and this is Catherine Parr in The Sims 4. I love how she turned out. I tried my best. I really did. Um, but I love how she turned out. I gave her for once, we only have one trait that's similar to others. Uh, I gave her the um, bookworm, ambitious, and good traits. Uh, and that is Catherine Parr. And that is the end of the video. That's all of the wives. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, if you stuck with me to the end, thank you. And I will tell you who, uh, who I think I'd get along most with. Um, but I'm also curious, if you've seen Six the Musical, please comment down below and please tell me who your favorite queen is. My favorite is Catherine of Aragon. Uh, and the one I think I would get along most with, I feel like there's two. I have two. I think I would find Anne Boleyn very funny. And like, like if I'm in a mood to like gossip, I'd probably talk to Anne Boleyn, but I think I would honestly, not to be biased, even though she is my favorite, so I'm a little bit biased, Catherine of Aragon. I can just picture myself sitting with her at a nice restaurant, having a glass of wine, and just dissing Henry, honestly. Maybe not dissing Henry, but like, just talking about stuff. Like, I feel like she'd be a great conversationalist. Anyways, so those are my favorites, and who I think I would get along most with. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Write me out for all the fun, for all the, for all the spontaneous fun, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.